Another sign of things returning to normal slowly, a double header at the ball field for Michelle Muscatelli double, yesterday. Double, header. Double, double header. How yep. was that? How'd that go? Uh, you know, it was a lot of baseball. <laughs> Saturday, a lot warmer to be at the ball field right. than yesterday was. Got back home yesterday. Couldn't warm up. You needed the like, double fleece yesterday. Yeah, it was, cold it was chilly. And today, for those after-school practices or games that might be happening, going to be another chilly and raw day. I do okay. think they'll get them in. You can see just a little bit of rainfall activity on the radar, but also some breaks in the clouds behind us. Let's take a look at the details. This is North Situate right now. Cloudy skies out there in uh, the North Situate area. And a few breaks of sunshine in Newport. Any breaks of sun will be few and far between, kind of like the showers that we're forecasting today. And a few and far between, couple of sprinkles or some pockets of drizzle. You can see some along 495 right now. Those have actually been pushing south and westward. And the showers that you see over Connecticut and Long Island are trying to push into, into uh, Rhode Island. So we're going to right in between here. That northeast flow will keep our uh, temperatures well below average for today. And here's the wider view in our satellite and radar. We've got areas of low pressure to the west of us. And this one offshore will be passing southward. But high pressure is really providing enough dry air to prevent us from getting any much needed beneficial rain. So there's very little, if any, measurable rain through the day on Wednesday. Looking at our temperatures outside, low to mid 40s. Grab the sweater or the fleece. You're going to want it all day. Winds out of the north northeast, 10 to 15 miles per hour through the day, with some occasional gusts over 20. So it'll be blustery in addition to the mainly cloudy skies. Temperatures by the end of the morning are already seeing our high for the day right around 50 degrees, and we aren't expecting to climb much above that at all. Best shot at lower 50s would be further to the west, so places like Westerly and Hope Valley. Narragansett, Newport, you're right at 50 degrees. Normal high is 57. We're only near 50 in Woonsocket, situate in West Greenwich, about 50 on the East Bay, and is across into Massachusetts, Seekonk, Attleboro, Fall River, you're right around 50 as well. Cloudy, cool with those northeast winds. Tonight, we'll see a little bit of partial clearing, and that should allow our temperatures to cool into the upper 30s to lower 40s, so a chilly night, but a dry one. Here's that hour-by-hour hour forecast showing most of the showers staying to the south and west of us. This is 1 in the afternoon, only middle and upper 40s from Boston to Providence. 6 o'clock this evening, still under those mostly cloudy skies, but notice we get a little bit of clearing early in the night before the next batch of clouds tries to push in for tomorrow morning. Now, those will gradually try to clear out tomorrow afternoon. Let's jump ahead to the end of the week. So Thursday and Friday, we've got another system that's going to try to approach our computer models uh, showing a chance for some rainfall by Thursday evening and night, and that is some snow in northern and western New England. Could we get a few snow showers around here? It's not out of the question for northern Rhode Island. Thursday night or Friday morning. So we'll keep you updated on that. Doesn't look like anything significant, but even a few snowflakes uh, not really wanted by mid April around here. 50 for today. It is a little bit warmer for tomorrow, and I'd say Wednesday is the pick of the work week in the middle and upper 50s with a mix of sun and clouds. We're back to that kind of weather for the upcoming weekend.